Hello, viewers. So, the Supreme Court have finally upheld Tinibu's illegitimacy, and this is actually one thing that Nigerians were fighting against. This is one thing that Nigerians were kicking against, and they finally did it because it has been in their heart all along. And it is now obvious, like what Nigerians have been saying, that they rushed this judgment just to uphold his illegitimacy before the FBI and other US security agencies released the fact they have against him and one of the laughable things they did in their judgment is the fact that they rejected Atiku's appeal to submit his fresh evidence from Chicago State University against the president and they were bringing up technicalities when we all know that it is not too late to accept fresh evidence but they ended up claiming that it is too late to accept fresh evidence this is one way we know that the Nigerian Supreme Court is already dead we don't have a law in this nation because our judiciary is now for the highest bidder i will be giving us details on all this and more but before we go deeply into this please do well to like this video and also do well to subscribe to our channel if you are yet to subscribe so you get updates whenever we post a new video so the supreme court in their judgment today dismissed the appeal on the 25 percent in abuja saying that abuja is just like every other state and that it is not as important as nigerians are claiming it to be and also they dismissed the case on forfeiture which is one of the major reasons why they have to fast track this their judgment so that all the files that the FBI, CIA and other security agencies have against Tinibu will not come to light. On their refusal to accept fresh evidence concerning Tinibu forged Chicago State University certificate, see the way this lawyer here presented it on X. He said, application by Atiku Abubakar and the PDP to adduce fresh evidence on the Chicago State University CSU diploma presented to INEC by Tinibu has been refused and dismissed by the Supreme Court. The deposition by the registrar of the CSU, Caleb Westberg, has been rejected and ruled inadmissible on the ground that the Supreme Court lacks jurisdiction to countenance him because the 180 days timeline for determination of election petition had elapsed. That since the time for trial, at the court of appeal had elapsed the supreme court cannot accept fresh evidence on appeal the supreme court also ruled that in the petition filed by article facts of forgery were not pleaded and no application for amendment of the petition or extension of time was filed that even if such application for amendment or extension of time was brought it would have been refused the supreme court also ruled that no issue for determination predicated on certificate forgery was raised by Atiku in his brief of argument. The Supreme Court equally held that the conditions for introduction of fresh evidence on appeal have not been met. So this is what they said in their judgment and it is indeed very laughable because it's obvious that all they are trying to do from all what they did in the court today is that they're just trying to uphold Tinibu's presidency. It is obvious to everyone both the world at large that CSU came out to say that Tinibu did not get the certificate he submitted to INEC from them which is an obvious fact that he forged that certificate yet they went on to uphold his illegitimacy and this is just a clear show that indeed in Nigeria we don't have rule of law indeed in Nigeria anything can happen and anyone who commits any crime can go scot-free because that's what they have done today in their judgment in this case. Reacting to their refusal to accept evidence concerning Tinibu's forged certificate and their judgment today, this person here said, wait, Oga Okoro of the Supreme Court just insinuated that Atiku should have started trying to get the evidence of Tinibu's forged certificate since June 2022 when Tinibu won the APC primaries. Now life will finish me today. Even Atiku lawyer Chris Uche San laughed. Who am I not to laugh? All I keep hearing sounds like the judge is saying he agrees that Tinibu forged the certificate, but just that he is not very interested in justice. And this is it. They all know that indeed 
he forged his certificate but they are actually not interested in justice just like this person here said another person here also reacted and said everyone expected this is the position the supreme court will take because if she admitted that evidence that's the end is a shame but as i said immediately after the pep judgment nothing will come out of the supreme court expecting anything is they dreaming and this is it indeed nothing came out from their judgment after nigerians were telling them to do the right thing peter obi even came out to urge them to do the right thing in this case they ended up giving their judgment just like the peps based on technicalities and refused to accept this strong evidence against tinibu and that person here said i have said it we don't expect any justice from the supreme court the nation's judiciary have been hijacked when the court has been bought they will hide behind technicalities but if they want to do their job they will remember that they have the ability to set precedence shame and this is it indeed is a big shame at this point in time they could not give nigerians justice regardless of all the evidence that was before them and that person here also reacted and said the csu deposition established that sinibu forged the certificate he submitted to INEC. that is the take away and that is it it established that sinibu forged the certificate that he submitted to INEC. Even if the Supreme Court did not do the right thing today, everyone, the world at large, already knows that Tinibu forged his Chicago State University certificate. Everyone knows that the person who is the president of Nigeria currently is a forger that is an identity thief. It is clear to everyone. And that person here also reacted and said, Welcome to Nigeria. This is it. Welcome to Nigeria where everything can go. Also reacting to this, this person here said, It's good that Supreme Court and Notorious Tinibu has set a bad precedent against rule of law in Nigeria. This is indeed a very bad precedent. How are you going to disqualify anyone again when it comes to the issue of certificate forgery? How are you going to look at people in the face and tell them they're not doing the right thing when the number one citizen of the country had case before you and because of money you had to go his own way? You ended up upholding his presidency when it is obvious that he is not qualified to be the president of the nation. And that person here said there is no justice in Nigeria. All Nigerian justices are under Tinibu's payroll. I saw it coming. There is no rule of law in Nigeria. This person here said, and that person here said, I didn't expect anything less, sir. Supreme Court in the mode. Also reacting to this, this person here said, lol, I wasn't expecting a different outcome anyway. So this is it. Everyone here is saying they were not even expecting the judiciary to do the right thing. They knew that the Supreme Court will still go the same way the pep justices went. Everyone was just watching and seeing if the Supreme Court will for the first time do the right thing. But no, they did not disappoint because they still went the way of injustice. And that person here said, Welcome to Nigeria, where one man pockets both the elites, the learned, and the departments and sectors to his pocket, and nobody born of a woman dares to challenge him. Nigeria is doomed. And that person here also said, Seems like Nigeria will always be Nigeria. Let's hope it stays Nigeria long enough before it topples down. Hmm. This person here also reacted and said, Miscarriage of justice. We all know and can attest that Nigeria is not ready for greatness. The elites are not willing to make any sacrifice for the betterment of the country for everyone. People with political positions only think and accept what benefits them. The masses are left to suffer the more. And this is it. They are only after their pockets. Just the way these Supreme Court judges did today. It shows clearly they are only after what they will get from the president. No minding how it's going to affect the nation. No minding how it's going to affect the citizens. 
the judiciary that is meant to be the last hope of the common man is no longer the last hope of the common man is now the hope of the elite is now a place where the elite the rich can tell you go to court because they know they are going to buy the court that's what happened Sinibu told Peter Obi to go to court and at the end of the day we are in court and the court even the supreme court the apest court of Nigeria failed Nigerians also reacting to this this person here said why do we even bother going to court we can just settle our issues man to man hmm. this person here also reacted and said nigeria is now a full criminally constituted state my heart is heavy there's no justice in nigeria indeed my heart also is heavy we were expecting that the judiciary will for the first time do the writing with all of these evidences before them but they failed nigerians they failed over 200 million nigerians they were putting their hope on them for a better nigeria they ended up failing us and our person here also reacted and said Everyone expected this is the position the Supreme Court would take because if she admitted that evidence, that's the end. It's a shame, but as I said immediately after the presidential election petition court judgment, nothing will come out of the Supreme Court. Expecting anything is daydreaming. Hmm. Another person here also reacted and said, Our judiciary is yet to become the last hope of the common man. Nevertheless, we shall make that happen. Nevertheless, like this person just said, we are just going to be hopeful that, that we are going to be able to get back our nation from these people because indeed the judiciary is no longer the last hope of the common man. Instead, it's a place where the common man goes to regardless of the evidence they have. It will still be trashed for the elites to be upheld another person here also reacted and said the way we celebrate criminals in this country is something else there's a backward trend criminals especially stinging public servants used to be disgraced back in the days people like mighty joe who was arrested and executed because he stole 10 naira would probably have joined APC today. So this is what this person here is saying. In our nation now, we are now celebrating criminality. This is something that before now, it will be openly exposed and criminals will be disgraced. But now, criminals are now paying lawmakers to be on their part. Criminals are now paying the judiciary to ensure that they retain power. Criminals are now the one ruling our nation. This is indeed very pathetic this person here also reacted and said supreme court judgment god is the only impartial judge no comments even the judge's generation would reap the statement of their judgment even if you took all of them to live in abroad hmm. and that person here also reacted and said no matter the outcome from the supreme court today one thing is certain Nigeria is in a worse shape today than it was after the February elections. As at February, one dollar was just 460 naira and petrol was less than 200 naira. You know how much it is today. We now know the Nigerian system is totally corrupt, but as of February, the judiciary was not fully exposed. I am very certain that in future, I will get to tell my children that in 2023, I and other well-meaning Nigerians stood up against the bad system in Nigeria. We moved in millions and voted against the evil men who have destroyed our dear country. But the Nigerian Supreme Court moved up its verdict so as to protect these criminals and this is it their verdict their judgment today was just targeted primarily to protect Sinibu. there was nothing that they said against him he's a clean man he's a good man they just went ahead to trash all the appeal that both peter obi and atiku abubaka presented before them and we know that this is not just going to end here because posterity will still bring this back to them, not just to them, but also to their generation, like this person here also pointed. This person here also reacted and said, they already planned it. They can't prove us wrong. This is it. This, their judgment has been ready since after the Pep's judgment. 
That's why they were so fast because they already have the judgment and they're trying to give it before the FBI will release their own documents. That's why they were so fast and they just brought the judgment they already have and deliver it to Nigerians. This person here also reacted and said, I can't have my heart broken and shattered to pieces like the pet did. Thank goodness I never anticipated that they would give us justice. Only time we tell indeed only time we tell and we are all nigerians living in nigeria we are all going through the current hardship and the current situations that we are facing in nigeria another person here also reacted and said no one was expecting anything different it's been planned from the onset all of them will be witness to the disaster they are creating nigeria has failed the world will no longer take nigeria seriously our image has been battered indeed the world will no longer take our nation and nigerians seriously because they will see us as a people that forged their certificates they will see us as a people that the country does not even have law because even the international communities watching this are expecting that Tinubu will be disqualified. But at the end of the day, the Supreme Court upheld his illegitimacy. This person here also reacted and said, We are not surprised at all. We know they are confused. But then the FBI needs to release their files. The FBI actually needs to release their files so that it's going to further expose who the certificate forger in Asorok truly is. This person here also reacted and said, Injustice justices, cash and carry injustices, conveniently leaving out the facts that the law permits them to assess fresh evidence in exceptional circumstances, may they live long to reap the fruits of their injustice. Justice died at Nigeria's Supreme Court. Very sad, and it's indeed very sad that they have killed justice in Nigeria. They have shattered the law of the land. Nigeria is now a lawless country. So, Supreme Court relying on technicalities rather than substance of the evidence. Indeed, they relied on technicalities, not on the evidence before them. This person here also reacted and said, On 25%, the FCT, Supreme Court declared that it is not mandatory to score 25% in FCT and FCT is to be treated as one of the states. My dear Nigeria Police and Road Safety, Please, how is it mandatory that I break which law when beating common traffic lights? Which law, please? So this person is now asking the Nigerian police that nobody should hold him that he break any law when he is driving because of traffic. But this is not what we want as a nation. All we are expecting was that the Supreme Court will give us justice in this case because of the overwhelming evidence, but yet they failed Nigeria and they have turned our nation to a lawless country. Another person here also reacted and said, the Supreme Court of Nigeria has made it clear today that INEC is above the law. They can do anything and get away with it. Truly, there was a country. Indeed, there was a country. They have also made it clear that Tinubu is above the law, that our politicians are actually above the law, that it's only poor Nigerians who are under the law. The other elites are above the law. This person here also reacted and said, when Achebe wrote there was a country, he already saw that the territory we call a country today has already been long lost and no longer a country. And this is it. This country has already been long lost, but we will just keep praying for Nigeria at this point in time because the Supreme Court has failed us. The Supreme Court failed Nigerians when it is obvious to everyone that all of the evidence that was presented before them was capable of disqualifying the certificate forger and also it was very obvious the nigerians did not vote for him but he fought his way together with the INEC and now both the appeal and the supreme court to stay in power this is not the nigeria we want this is not what nigerians who trooped out in their mass to vote on february 25 2023 this is not what they want thank you so much guys for watching this video please do well to share your thoughts about the video in the comment section please do well to like this video and please do well to subscribe to our channel if you are yet to subscribe so you get updates whenever we post a new video